Happy Thursday and welcome to a new vlog. I was so tired last night that I slept for like 10 or 11 hours. I couldn't keep my eyes open. I was out like a light. Which is good, I needed to catch up on sleep because I've been sleeping so poorly recently. Right now I am watching RuPaul's Drag Race All Stars. I haven't really started where the crawdads sing. I started reading yesterday and I read like literally the intro. But I'm gonna probably read it maybe when this is over. And then I have work at half past six. So we shall see. I lit my new sand and fog candle and it's not overpowering, it's nice and subtle. I like it, I like it a lot. It is 25 past six, <laughs> oh that's bright. I just logged into my Oric computer and I'm just getting set up for work now. Had my dinner, I spent the day um, doing things for somebody's birthday that's coming up this month. And I'll say no more because I know she watches my vlogs and uh, don't want to ruin the surprise. I decided I'm gonna straighten my hair, but uh, I'm kind of loving this look. I might just go to the shop like this, put the cat in a handbag and be like, yeah, look at me, ain't I lovely? I'm gonna go to Aldi. The Dublin Bay South uh, by-election. The election was yesterday. Today they're counting the votes. It looks like Ivana's gonna win. <laughs> whoop, whoop. Anyway, I'm just gonna finish my hair and then see what I do from there. I just put on my coat because it's raining and I'm about to go out to Aldi just to have a look. I put on this coat which is a little bit wintry but it's got a hood so unless I want to wear my Blackhawks hat. I am back from Aldi and I got a couple of things. The first thing I got is this bubble shooter. So it's a gun for shooting bubbles because my niece and nephew are going to be visiting and I think if the weather is nice it might be fun for them to uh, to play with this. And the other thing I got was a bottle of kombucha. So I got the ginger and lemongrass. And <laughs> because I need more books and because I'm so... <laughs> um, I got the kissing boots. <laughs> I know, it's just, it's gonna be one of those terrible. It was only 3 dollars I was like, do you know what? It's probably awful. The film isn't great, but uh, just one of those cheesy books that I wanted to get. And my mother bought me some bed sheets, some Harry Potter, and they're the Marauders map. Thank you, Susie, because Susie sent me a picture of them on Instagram and I are on uh, Snapchat, and I was like, oh, I love them. It's Saturday, which means I was just downtown in hashtag super value. I just bought cherries and grapes and food and stuff. But I bought this. It's kombucha. It is raspberry lemonade. This one is a 250 ml tin and it was 1.99. It's made by a company called Remedy. They are an English company. Um, it says that it's naturally fermented sparkling kombucha with hibiscus tea, natural raspberry flavor, lemon juice, and sweetener from stevia. It also contains just seven calories per tin. Best served chilled, now it's not chilled, but we're gonna try it anyway, so. Now, first impression. can smell the raspberry and can smell that kombucha smell, so. It's okay. It's nice, it probably is nice or cold. The kettle is boiling. It's the last of my Kenko Duos, so it's Kenko Duo Latte that I got. Um, I saw other flavours in Dunn's when I was in Kilkenny. So, here's how it goes. You peel off this lid. This is why it's Kinko Duo. This is the milk powder and it goes in your mug. Okay. And then that reveals this tab. And when you pull this off, there's your coffee. I've added my salt and stevia into the milk powder. So then what you do is you add 170 milliliters of water. I don't know how much that is, so I just guess. That's probably about right. And then I'll give that a wee stir. And then in this, you put your water in here up to the ridge. But I'll put in a little bit more. And then I give it a little swirl. Let's try and mix it properly. And then you pour this in here and bada boom, that's your coffee. I don't know if my heart can take it. 
There's two minutes left in injury time and it's all square in Omar Park in the, uh, the minor hurling final and it's Kilkenny against Galway and if it's all square at full time then it's it's extra time. I don't know, can my hair take this? Oh man. Come on Kilkenny, just one point. It's all we need, it's one point. God, we are winning every ball. They've had 13 wides. Oh my goodness. Can anyone get five? Stop them. Oh, they scored a goal. That's it. It's over. Can lost? Sad. Hi, everybody. It's time for another installment of Sarah Try Some Tea. This is some vanilla bean macaron. It is flavoured with other natural flavour, okay? It is a savoury black tea, that's where I have a problem. Anyway, a savoury black tea confection of fragrant vanilla with a dash of cinnamon. And it has two dots on the caffeine level. It is eight o'clock, nearly nine, but you know what, we're still gonna try it. So it says to let it brew for five minutes. So, Avonmore. <laughs> this video is not sponsored by Avonmore. Oh. Okay, mixed with the black tea, there's a very, very strong vanilla. So I'm gonna pop it into my teapot. It's back. And I'm going to let it brew for, it says to leave it brew for five minutes. So let's let it brew for five minutes. I've given it a little stir stir and now I'm gonna pour out my tea. Oh, I can really smell the vanilla. It's so much tea. Oh my God, it's gonna taste like black tea. Oh, this is really hot. I can see the steam. Can you see the steam? I may need to leave it cool down before I properly drink it, but... Tea. But vanilla. I like the vanilla part. Tea, though. Okay. I'm gonna leave it cool down. The tea has cooled a bit, so... It's not the worst. It's not so overpoweringly tea flavored, but there's a nice vanilla in it. It's okay. I mean, I'm not a lover. Maybe put a bit of milk in it to make it creamy, but I'm not a lover of black tea, so sorry. I'm quite tired. I was downtown. No, I wasn't. I was down in Waterford with mom. She had her second vaccination this morning for her AstraZeneca, so fingers crossed she doesn't have any side effects. She had to be down there at half past nine. So we got up super early at like, my alarm was set for eight. I think I got up at half eight. Um, quickly got dressed and off we went. I completely forgot to bring my camera so I didn't vlog along the way. But it was a nice day. I just got myself um, a Costa coffee because it was so early. Um, Mammy was in the vaccination center. So we just drove over to Costa. And then when we were finished there, we went over to Home Store and more and I bought I have no bags because I unpacked everything. Um, I bought this. It is a really, oh my God, it's so nice. It is a lemon lavender alcohol hand gel. So it kills 99% of bacteria and it's 79.95% um, alcohol. And it smells so nice. I must have looked like a crazy person because I put it on in the car and I was walking around Waterford smelling my hands. But it's really, really nice. Um, it was 4 .99. And they also have it in clean cotton and I may go get another bottle of it because it's really nice. And then when I was finished there, we went into town and I went to Pennies. And in Pennies, I got a couple of things. So the first thing I got were these earrings. They're two euros and here they are on. They're a little big. I think it's just that I don't wear hoop earrings ever. So they're gonna take a little getting used to. They did have smaller ones um, and bigger ones in a pack for three euros, but they felt quite heavy. So I went with these because they're super light. And um, yeah, I think they're just gonna take a little getting used to. My next purchase was just five euros and it was this t-shirt. And it's just so simple. It says, but first coffee. And that's it, and it's just plain black. It's kind of thin, but it's super soft. Um, and I just decided, I thought it looked nice. So I decided to get it and it fits quite nicely. I decided to go ahead and buy another pair of the raw hem 
um, skinny jeans. So these were 15 euros. For some reason when I got them in Kilkenny they were seven. So I must compare the receipts and see if they have the same number. There must have been an error on the scan. And the final thing I got is this dress. So I got it in a 16 uh, because it is pennies and they're kind of small. And it was eight euros and it has this high neckline and these three quarter length sleeves. And it goes to just above my knee. It is so soft. It's so nice. That is it for the vlog today. My brother just arrived with his family, so I'm going to be spending the next week with them. That does mean that I'm not going to be vlogging. That is it for today. Thank you very much for watching. If you want to subscribe so you can see more of my face, there is a, a link down below that you can click. It says subscribe. It's a big button. Or you can click the little picture of me in the corner. Um, if you want to follow me on Instagram or Twitter, those details are also in the doobly-doo down below, and they are at the end of the video. If you like this video, give it a thumbs up, maybe share it. And that is it for me today. TTFN.